So in Colin Furr's recent video where he builds a drift trike with basic tools, he mentions that this would be the perfect project for anyone to take on during lockdown because the parts list is quite minimal. This is the perfect lockdown project. Now I've already built an electric drift trike in the past. Version one had a front hub motor. Version two had a water cooled motor. And now moving on to version three. And version three is Colin Furr's style. I'm going to borrow the motor, the controller, and one of the 36 volt batteries out of my Tesla go-kart. I ordered another pair of the same motor and controller, but I don't want to wait for shipping and this way I can just get started right away. I was able to get everything else I needed from the same store using curbside pickup. So let's go chop up the old trike and get started. All right, so I got the rear box piece all welded together and I'll go over the plan. What I wanna do is put the motor right here at the back and then mount the controller right across from it. And then I'm gonna put the batteries right in front. So what I'm gonna do next is weld this piece of tubing to the rear box piece, get everything fastened where it needs to go. And then I'll cut this to length and weld to the BMX. So that's the plan, sounds simple enough. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is make my motor mount. And what I did to make this easier for myself was I modeled and 3D printed this template, which I can now use to transfer my design onto the steel plate. And I don't have to worry about any of the bolt holes not lining up or anything like that, which is awesome. Yeah, just a nice little trick that I thought I'd share with you guys that can prevent you from wasting material and can also save you a lot of time. So there we have it. Motor plate came out super clean and I'm really happy with it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is get the axle bolted on and then I'll tack this guy into place and I'll go from there. So I got the motor plate tacked into place and I've made up these two mounts which are going to be used to house the battery. They just slide on like this, one on each side, and it's a nice clean way to mount the battery. All right, update time. The trike's pretty close to being done. I've just got to finish up some wiring, get the seat put on, and then give it some paint. But I'm just about to weld on the front bracket for the batteries. And as you can see, I've got these 3D printed spacers in there. And those are there because, as I mentioned earlier, I'm using one of the test carts 36 volt batteries for this video because I'm just using what I have. But I've actually designed it to fit a 52 volt pack, so that's why that gap's there. And eventually when I do get the new battery, it'll fit in there nice and snug. And yeah, so I'm gonna continue working on getting this thing done and it'll soon be time to go do some drifting. 
Okay, so basically what I did from this point on was make a bracket for the contactor, finish up all the wiring, and then take everything apart and give the frame a fresh coat of paint. If anyone is interested in knowing how all the components are connected and how everything is wired up, you can refer to the wiring diagram in the user manual for this controller. You can find the link for that and all the other parts in the video description. If you have any other questions, you can let me know in the comments section below, but um, let's go do some drift in. Woo, woo, woo. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Beauty sunset tonight.